Another assessment by Western partners of the Ukrainian counteroffensive, this time by the Washington Post. Key quotes in the article. For some reason the Ukrainians are in no hurry to conduct all armed offensive operations as they have been taught, but are limited to slow advance and exhausting the enemy, we have taught Ukrainian troops complex offensive maneuvers, demining and provided demining equipment, including rollers and rocket charges. I wonder if these are the exercises where minefields need to be bypassed or the fact that a roller lives a couple of hundred meters in practice. And we need a completely different technique of demining, and most importantly cover from air strikes. Western officials and analysts say the Ukrainian military has so far adopted an attrition-based approach aimed, mainly at creating vulnerabilities through artillery and rocket attacks on command, transportation and logistics facilities behind Russian positions. And the Ukrainian army is doing this instead of conducting what Western militaries call all arms operations. That is, I understood correctly, they suggest going to mines, which should be bypassed according to their logic, under the attack of the enemy's artillery, which is still combat ready, and without full-fledged air cover. Why do analysts not specify that all Western tactics are based on parity in the air, or complete dominance, and the Operation Storm in Ukrainian Olishki has no common features with the Operation Desert Storm? And for some reason the publication does not recall how it also on the first day of the all-armed offensive fainted from the photo of three leopards and ten Bradleys shot down. Further quote, the Ukrainian military leadership explains that, lacking air power, they must avoid unnecessary losses against an enemy that has a much larger reserve of recruits and weapons. To conserve manpower, Ukraine has deployed only four of the dozen trained new brigades in the current campaign. To me, this fragment is constructed as if they have to be justified before them. This is not an assertion, explanation or assumption, it is a fact. Ukrainian defense forces cannot morally and rationally allow themselves meet assaults without the necessary conditions as Russia does. I would only add an explanation on numbers and reserves. Most likely by the phrase out of a dozen brigades you mean four of the 17 new brigades Milly announced a few days ago. Roughly speaking, now only 20% of the forces from their capabilities have attracted the AFU for the offensive. At the same time, the four involved brigades are systematically advancing deep into the enemy defenses and have not lost their combat capabilities. In general, the article is informative and not bad, but the red thread is the focus of fitting the Ukrainian offensive and constant evaluation rather than description of events and information assistance. Almost do not consider the topic of Russian losses and comparison of the state, and everything is measured in kilometers of advancement. One thesis from the article is enough to understand what I mean. Against the background of the lack of big victories, the commander-in-chief of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, General Valery Zalyushny, calls on partners to provide the Ukrainian Air Force with F-16 fighter jets as soon as possible to compensate for Ukrainian shortcomings. And this assessment in the article lack of big victories is the manifestation of immorality and the subject of my criticism, which is if encourages premature movement and additional sacrifices on the part of Ukrainians for the sake of TV picture, complacency in future elections. I want to conclude my emotional message with one of the few non-anonymous sources for this Washington Post article, Lieutenant General Douglas Sims of the US Joint Chiefs of Staff, and so where they are advancing hundreds of meters a day, and sometimes even a kilometer a day, they are doing so at great cost. It's a tough war, it's fought on really tough terrain, under fire. If you take all that into account, then the progress is quite impressive. By the way, did you read this article?